Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that thumbs up button for me. That will allow the YouTube algorithm to share this video with more people. When we talk about investing, what comes to mind for me is wealth. And wealth has two stages. The first stage is building wealth. The second stage is enjoyment of wealth. Today, I'm going to walk you through the seven best investments to make right now to put you on a pathway to building wealth and then ultimately enjoying wealth. Number one, high yield savings account. Now, I know some of you are saying that's not going to build wealth for us. And you're absolutely right. But the reason I want you to consider a high yield savings account as an investment is so that you have somewhere you can actually store money. Store money until it's ready to be deployed into assets that will create wealth for you. Now, a couple of things I want you to also think about when looking for this high yield savings account. Look for a savings account that does not have an annual fee. It doesn't have a minimum amount you need to keep in the account and you earn at least a 1% interest rate on that particular account. Now that high yield savings account can also double as your emergency fund. My recommendation is go on to Google and look for high yield savings accounts. There are many out there. Pick the one that's best for you. But the most important thing is pick one and start storing your money away until it's time to start buying assets. Number two, Roth IRA. Now I've mentioned Roth IRA in many other videos. I think it's one of the best ways to invest money and grow your wealth. A Roth IRA is an investment account that allows you to invest your after-tax dollars. If you're under 50 years old, you can contribute up to $6,000 a year. If you're over 50, you can contribute $7,000 per year and this money grows tax free. Let me give you an example. If you're 30 years old and you put $6,000 into your Roth IRA over the next 30 years and get a conservative 7% return on your money. By the time you reach 60 years old, which you'll be at that time, allowed to take that money out of the Roth IRA tax-free, you would have grown your wealth to $575,000. Now, you would have contributed about $180,000 of your after-tax dollars. But that $180,000 with the power of compound interest over the last 30 years would have grown itself by $395,000. And the great news there is that $395,000 you can take out of that Roth IRA tax-free. So in my opinion, it's one of the most important investment vehicles you can use to grow your wealth. Number three, index funds. If you buy an index fund that tracks the S&B 500, then that particular index fund will have 500 different stocks in it. And it's also professionally managed. So if I'm a person that is not comfortable picking individual stocks, I certainly can purchase a index fund and be able to hold 500 different types of stocks through an index fund that tracks the S&P 500. The goal is to invest in an index fund and hold it long-term. And history tells us if you do that, 
the return you'll get is between eight and 10%. Number four, individual stocks. I'm a big believer in individual stock investing. The key is you just have to pick the right stocks. When I think about picking individual stocks, I'm trying to pick stocks of companies that I believe will do well in good and bad times, that they have a history, a long track record of being profitable and returning value to their investors. Some of those companies I think about that fit that category, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Walmart, AT&T, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. These are some of the companies out there that I buy from an individual stock standpoint that I believe are gonna do well in good and bad times. I look for two things. I look for stocks that are gonna provide growth for me, and I also look for stocks that will pay me a dividend. Now, I know some people will say, well, I'd rather get growth over dividends, and that's fine. But I think you can get best of both worlds if you find the right stocks. Nevertheless, consider investing in individual stocks as one of your tools to grow your wealth. Number five, real estate. One that I have used for many years and has really, really grown my wealth. The easiest, cheapest way to get into investing in real estate is through buying a single family home. You can get in a single family home for three and a half percent down. And then you can move out of that home after 12 months and put a tenant in it and it can become a rental property. The way you would do that is through FHA first time home buyers program where they require a three and a half percent down payment. You can buy a duplex or a triplex or a quadruplex, live in a unit, rent out the other units and do the same approach and build your wealth. Number six, side hustle. That's right guys, a side hustle is instrumental in you building your wealth. When I started 20 years ago, building my wealth and getting serious about my financial future, I knew my nine to five job, although it was a good job, it was not gonna provide me the level of income I needed in order to be able to invest and grow my wealth the way I wanted to do it. So it was mandatory for me to find out other ways of making more money above and beyond my nine to five job. And I did that through luxury watch sales and eBay stores. Those were my two side hustles where I made additional money that I could then turn around and invest in real estate and I could invest in the financial markets. The key to building wealth is more money, making money. So if you can make money and invest it, then you'll get to that enjoyment stage of wealth quicker. Number seven, pay down high interest rate debt. It would serve you well to focus your efforts and your resources on paying that debt down. When you think about investing your money, if you got interest rate loans that are under 5%, then you could typically take the money and invest it in the market and get a 7% return. So why would you pay off 5% debt or less when you can get a higher return in the market? You would probably go ahead and take that money and put it in the market and just continue to pay down the debt on its normal repayment terms. But if that debt is 5% or 6% or higher, then in my opinion, you would take that money and pay off the debt because why? You couldn't take that money and put it in the market and get a higher return than what you're paying on the debt. So you always wanna pay off high interest rate loan debt or credit card debt if the money you have can't earn you more in the market. Those are my seven 
best investments to make right now? Drop me some comments, guys, and let me know what you think about those seven best investments to make. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. If you want two free stocks, click on that link in the description box of the video and Weeble is gonna give you two free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account, deposit $5 in that brokerage account. They're gonna give you two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.